Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're gonna do a leopard. We're gonna edit this in Photoshop and this is the photo we will be using and this is what it will be. So I'm gonna show you all the steps that you need to do to get the same result. Keep in mind that you don't need to use every step. If you don't like an effect, don't use it. Just pick the best ones that you like from this video and use it for your own kind of wildlife photos. And that way you can really get your own style and learn some new tricks in Photoshop. If you're looking for royalty free music for your next project, check the link in the description. There is a 70% discount code that you can use and you can use unlimited music on audio.com. Check that out and use the link in the description. So let's get into this video and start editing. All right, so this photo is in the description of the video. If you want to download it, just download it and follow along with the same steps. You can also use your own photo if you want. That's all fine. Now, let's start off with editing the lighting in this photo. I want to have a bit more interesting lighting. So let's first go down here and I'm going to select exposure and the exposure I'm going to drop. So I'm going to take the exposure slider and move them to the left. So we get a really dark image. Then I'm going to bring back some lighting. Now let's make another exposure layer and this one I'm going to increase because I want to have a control of my lighter and darker exposure. So I have two layers. When I click on the mask here and I press Ctrl or Command I, I can invert it. You can see it's black, so we don't see it. And now I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to use my lighting brushes for this. If you want to get this brush, I'm going to link it in the description of the video. Watch that video and you can get them for free. Or if you already have them, you can follow along or you can try to recreate it, but it might be a bit difficult for you, especially if you're new to Photoshop. Now, this is my lighting brush. Let me make this image a bit smaller first. So it's a bit big now. Let's go for 2000 pixels so I can really use this brush a bit better because the brushes are limited to 5000 pixels and we're not use it all the way. Now let's make the brush a bit smaller here. Let's see like that. And I'm going to create a lighting from there. So you can see I clicked on this mask and I used a white brush. As you can see here, and then I can create this kind of lighting. And I will, will probably drop this even more like that. And this one I'm going to brush again. And I can see I created a bit more lighting from the right top side like there. Now, there are some things we need to do. We need to make sure the leopard doesn't get too dark. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to use a general soft round brush. This is standard in Photoshop. This is something everyone has. And I'm going to bring back the light on the eye. I'm also going to do a bit here on the top of its face. Let's drop the flow just slightly here. And I'm going to make these areas slightly lighter and also his paw here like that because we have this kind of lighting coming from the top there. So these areas should get some lighting, maybe even less flow. So it looks more realistic. Let's also do a bit there on the ear. Let me go back here a bit there on the ear and just like that. We can also do like this branch here, like it's also hitting it. Maybe also a bit more there. And I'm going to do the top part also there. All right. I think this is fine. We have darker spots and we have lighter spots now. It's a bit more mysterious. You can see here the difference. All right. Let's go back to this one. And now I can also control this a bit more. Let me do this a bit darker. And this is fine. All right. Now let's work on the leopard itself. So we have lighting. I also want to work on the colors. So first of all, I'm going to add a hue and saturation. And I'm going to drop the saturation just a little bit like that. Slightly less colors. Now I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to go to edit and select fill. And here you want to select 50% gray and change the blend mode to overlay. And now I can use the burn tool. I want to have a bit darker areas at the bottom here and at the shadows. So for the range, I have midtones here and I'm going to increase it to around 20. And I'm going to brush this a bit darker like that. And also a bit darker here, there. So basically just the shadowed part, maybe a bit on its face here. 
and also the background. I don't want to see the background, so I'm going to brush it away. And I have more like a dark kind of setting with no background. Let's see, maybe even more. Make sure you make the brush smaller when you get closer to the leopard like there. Just like that. Let's now move to shadows and drop the exposure and let's brush more here. Especially here, so we can really see the difference between the background and the leopard. Just like that. Now let's see. This looks fine for now. Let's brush even more here, just to have these areas really dark. So we have all the focus on the leopard here. Now here you can see, you need to brush a bit. Be careful here, so you don't get this kind of glow effect. Looks like a little bit of a glow around its ear. I'm gonna make sure it's really nice and perfect, like that. All right, I think this is enough. Let's make sure we brush a bit more there. All right, now let's work on the leopard again. I'm gonna go to create a new layer and then select fill. Same again, 50% gray. And this time I'm gonna make the eyes lighter. So I'm gonna use the dodge tool for this. I have the mid-tone selected here. Exposure 35, let's try it out. And I'm gonna make them slightly lighter, just like that. And I can see we have these glowing eyes. I'm also gonna brush the, the, the leopard itself, so not only the eyes, but I'm gonna drop the exposure slightly here. Maybe even more. And just like that, I'm also gonna brush the branch here. I think this looks fine. Just a little bit of highlights. All right, now let's add a curves on top of this one. And let's try to move these sliders. I'm gonna increase the highlights here a bit. Let's take the midtones and bring them slightly down like that. And the darks just a little touch down like that. I think this is enough. I'm going to add a color lookup to this and I'm going to select tree strip. And now I'm going to do a color balance and I'm going to add some blue to this and some cyan. Maybe a touch of magenta, just like that. Let's now add a gradient and here you want to select radial and put it in reverse. And for the color, I'm gonna sample like the color of the surroundings, but a bit darker, just like that. And then I can click here and I click next to it to copy it and take this one and drag it down, move this one to the right and press OK. So I'm gonna change the scale here to kind of get these darker spots around it, like that. And now we can change the blend mode to overlay or soft light. I think for this one, we could use soft light, but let's drop the opacity a bit. No, oh, wrong one, soft light. I'm gonna drop the opacity here, just like that. Now let's see, this already looks nice. All right, let's make this more interesting. I'm gonna try to duplicate this lighting layer we had here to see how this looks. And you can see it looks really kind of glowing in his eyes, but I'm gonna drop the PSD here, so it looks a bit more real, just like that. Let's create a new layer and press Command Alt Shift E again, and then go to right mouse and convert Smart Object, and select Camera Raw Filter. And here I'm gonna do some adjustments. So let's first try to drop the exposure slightly here. I'm gonna increase the contrast. Let's increase the highlights also. And let's try this one. Let's increase the shadows a bit here. And I'm also gonna increase the whites just a little bit. And the blacks we can drop slightly. Let's move down. I'm gonna drop the texture and increase the clarity. And let's move all the way there. And in the curve, we can play with the lighting again. Let's slightly increase the highlights here and also the lights. 
and I'm gonna drop the darks. I'm gonna also drop the shadows. Let's leave the colors as it is. And maybe here in calibration, we can try to get some nice colors for the fur. So let's try it out. Maybe just like that. Okay, this is fine. I'm gonna press okay. All right, let's add some light source at the top here because we created this spotlight effect, but we don't have a light source yet. So I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna use a white brush. I'm gonna use the same brush again that we had before, just this spotlight brush. Let's make sure it's somewhere coming from there because we made this kind of highlight effect on the right side of this leopard. So I'm gonna make sure the lighting is coming from there and not left side. So let's put some of these inside this shot. Make sure you don't put it like that because that's the end of the brush. So put it out of the frame and just pick some nice spots. A couple of these light beams, maybe there and maybe somewhere a bit there. Let's try again. So you can see I'm just clicking and I'm, if I don't like it, I just press Ctrl Z and go back. Just make sure it doesn't hit this area here at the bottom. Let me make a mask first and get rid of it here. There. So only the top kind of and also not there. Right? So just fix that. And I think this is already pretty nice. Let's add a color lookup and select tree strip to get a bit more colors in this and drop the opacity. And I think this is already enough. All right, this photo might look too photoshopped. So the trick here is to just select all these layers that you just created by holding on shift and press command G to group them and then just drop the opacity. And here you can define how much of this effect do you want. And I can see I can make this really kind of photoshopped as I want, or I can keep it like a real photo and just use it a little bit like that, for instance. And that way you have all the control in your own hands to define how do you want your photo to look. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and use one of my tricks in your next photo edit and catch you on the next video.